Hey there, YouTube world. Remember me? My name is Matt Schwartz, and I'm the Welding Geek, and it has been a while. And it has been a while because of this nightmare right here. The Skyrim Kenry of Armor, the mod build. If you want to see how I went about making this nightmare <laughs> out of aluminum, stay tuned to the video.
<laughs> what do you guys think? I'm really happy with how this build came out. Literally the paint is still drying. I've been pushing and pushing trying to get this thing done. And I couldn't be happier. Now it's not... <laughs> Let me kill stuff up. It's not an exact, exact copy. Some of the kind of the way it looks is not quite right, but man. Like I said, this build... It was not, I mean, it was a fun build on its own, but I got like all the way to getting the back pieces put together. I mean, it took me like three or four weeks just to get the start templates drawn. And then I finally got fat the, the, the back cap, this back area, not with all the plates fabricated and started on the front plates and got all that done, got it on my head and the eye holes were off an inch. Like I couldn't see out of the helmet. So I had to go back to the drawing board and I rebuilt this back half because it just wasn't quite right. Um, and so I went back to that drawing board, but the, like I think there's a strap here. I may actually add that in later, but man, I had to get this video out. It's been <laughs> too long, um, but I hope you guys enjoyed that video. I hope you'll share it for me. Um, if you're new to the channel or you've been watching my channel and you're not subscribed yet, I would surely appreciate you hitting the subscribe button. I know you hear everybody say that on YouTube channels and I don't like saying it, but I could really use some subs here, kind of get the channel boosted. It has like flatlined and dropped because I haven't been posting because I've been spending all my time on this thing. Um, yeah, kind of a final view of the inside here. Um, I just put some leather in there more for comfort. It doesn't look all that super nice, but with all those rivets and everything, that's all the padding because I have it fit pretty tight to my head and then I just rattle can black the, the inside. Um, and it just, this just floats. So it'd be nice to get a strap on there so it'll cinch it down. But that's the first part of the build. The next part of this build probably won't be for a little bit. Um, I wanna see how this video does. Um, but the next thing I'm gonna do is actually a coffee table for my new man cave that I'm making. I want a, a cool piece of furniture in there. Um, I'm planning on yeah, it'll be a, I don't know, it's hard to explain. I want to showcase some of the tools that I have at work there. I mean, the shop I work in is not my shop. It's where I work. Um, I do this work on my lunch breaks and after work a little bit. Um, so it's that's why it takes me so long because I only have a limited amount of time to do this. Um, but I, I thought it'd be cool to kind of showcase some of the fancy tools, the more fancy tools we have at work, like our CNC punch and stuff, um, just to kind of show that stuff off, which is pretty cool. So I'm going to do that. Um, a coffee table and then we'll see where I'm going from there I have a couple things I want to work on I know I always say I'm gonna work on this and then go do something else but that's just how my brain works I kind of just ebb and flow and kind of work on what I'm interested in at the moment um, but if I could complete this kit it would be an amazing kit it's just this took me I've been working on this for eight to ten weeks I think um, and I and then it just kills my YouTube channel because then it just because you're not posting in YouTube basically 
screws you over for not posting anything and you know anyway so i hope this does well this is really cool i mean this is not i mean i did this out of the blue you know i, I templated it like all my stuff um so anyway there's a lot of work here and i just want to see that it's appreciated <laughs> anyway enough of that um yeah i hope you guys will subscribe and do all that fun stuff i hope you'll stay tuned um and yeah, what a cool build. I'm excited. Anyway, hopefully cons will be opening up before too long. We can get some of this stuff and I can start wearing it out in public, which I've been itching to do. Anyway, blah, 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 blah. My name is Matt Schwartz. I'm the Welding Geek. And thanks for watching, guys. How could I forget about my Patreon, people? Yeah, I've got a Patreon account. If you want to jump on there, all my templates are available through my $5 tier on Patreon. Um, that's the Mando. That's Revan. That's like all the stuff that I've built on my channel. Those templates are there at my Patreon account and available for those who jump on to my $5 tier. I also have a $10 tier. And for those people giving a little bit more, some of the stuff I have around um, that I build that I don't want, I'm going to give them to those people. Um, it's called the giveaway tier. So it, that's just as a thank you for supporting me a little bit more. Uh, yeah, so um, my next giveaway will be this right here my Revan helmet. Now this is not the Revan from my Revan build on the YouTube channel. That's this one. And you can see the difference. This one was just slightly too big so I remade it. Um, so I've had this around for a while and I haven't done a giveaway on that giveaway tier for a little while. So I'm going to give this to them. So if you're interested in that, I'll be giving this away May 4th on Star Wars Day. Um, this cool yeah, just a simple helmet, red and built thingy, I'm a bopper. I thought that'd be a cool giveaway and I've had it around. And so I'm going to give it to one of you people who are willing to go over there to Patreon and jump in that $10 tier. So anyway, roll the end credits. <laughs>